teacher. Today is Friday, November 3rd. Um, got some stuff to share. Not items, but just some um, experiences I had today. So uh, I'll start with the earthquake. We had another earthquake. Um, I'm fine. Nothing fell here. I have an app that tells me what, where, when, and how on the earthquake. Um, it was a 4.0 located about, I'd say, seven miles uh, east of me. Um, I was sitting here watching... Who was I watching? One of one of my crochet um, people that I watch. I'll pull it up here. Um, sitting in my recliner, and it was very fast, loud, and it was a sudden big jerk. My cat sat up, and her eyes got real big, and she got real alert. There were no um, aftershocks that I could feel and I haven't felt any uh, like well I call liquefaction um, little aftershocks that make that make some people including me feel motion sick I haven't had any of that um, looking at my history here I watching I think I was watching cinnamon stitches post from today anyway <clears throat> prior to that so that was about an hour ago um, I had another scary experience today so I live in an old cottage. It used to be a tack room, I think, for um, horses. And then it was added on to little kitchen, little bedroom. Um, and anyway, it's on my mom's property. Um, the property's up for sale. I can stay here until the close of escrow, um, and then I have to move out. So, long story short, to prepare my cat for the upheaval that will happen when we have to move, um, I put her in her carrier and took her to the car, and I just brought her to a park. Um to just hang out, you know, give her uh, a bit of a challenging experience being somewhere else, but then also being with me and, you know, having her carrier and, and things like that. So she was very nervous. She, I adopted her as a little kitten. Um, she was 12 weeks old. She was a rescue. She was found at five weeks old. The mother had disappeared and so um she's had a rough life she was born in she's a covid baby i got her at the end of august uh, of 2020 so she's three and a half years old because she was born in june of 2020 um i'm all she's ever known this place where i you know i've lived here for longer than i've had her so this is you know, I'm all she knows. This place is all she knows. So, um, she was nervous and, and this and that. Eventually, she was ready to gradually make her way out of her carrier and explore a little. And I had a harness on her and a leash. Well, um... 
she pulled we our first little venture away from the picnic table was fine but I was worried I thought can she get out of this harness you know but luckily it went okay she got nervous I think because um something I don't know she just wanted back to home base so went back to home base I put her in her um, carrier and let her decompress a little bit and peek out the holes and watch the environment and then she wanted out again so I let her out where you know she was on the harness we're walking well she squirmed out of the harness after a little a little short very short time I, I no longer had a hold of her <sighs> I just, I, this, this park is, it's not in a populated area. It's, it's in a, a wooded area, you know, it, there, there's a creek, um, there's, she would have been lost. I mean, she just would have been lost. I never would have seen her again. She has a microchip, um, but with the property for sale by the time anyone were to find her i wouldn't live here anymore I, I suppose i could change the information anyway before i get too far off on a tangent i as i was following her and talking to her like come here honey come here don't let me you know i would get just close enough and to pick her up and then she'd trot a little farther so i'm like oh no so she's going toward the creek and I'm following along and I said a prayer. I said, Heavenly Father, please help me catch Minerva in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I just kept talking to her and fo following her carefully. Well, she reached a point just before the creek where it was um, covered in dead dry leaves, crunchy, a thick layer of crunchy, crunchy leaves. And when she reached that, she paused long enough for me to get close enough to get a hold of her tail. And I was like, oh my gosh, it, like, it's better that I pull her toward me with her tail than, than lose her forever. So I got hold of, her hold of her tail and I pulled her toward me. Luckily, because she was standing on a bed of dry leaves, she easily slid toward me. Like she didn't make a sound. It didn't hurt her. She and the leaves came. The leaves came with her. And I scooped her up. I held her snug and brought her back to the picnic table where her carrier was. I think I put her back in and, and shut the door and just, I needed to, de to decompress at that point. Um, and then after a while, she wanted out again, and I thought, well, I can't let her out. She didn't even have a harness on anymore, and I wasn't going to trust it again. So I kept her in the the carrier, and we got back in the car and came home. Interestingly, um, so where we live, she's, she's indoor-outdoor. Got a message. Um, but we came home, and... I didn't let her outside right away because most likely my new place of residence, she'll have to be an indoor cat. So I'm trying to figure out how to get her used to that. She didn't want out. She wanted to stay in here with me for a while. Um, and then I had to step outside a little bit ago. We'd been home for an hour and a half or so and she did not ask to, to go outside till I went outside. Um, I had to go into the main house or something real quick, came back, and that's when she wanted out. <sighs> that was scary, and I'm thankful to Heavenly Father for answering my prayer and letting me catch her. So, I looked at the harness, and I don't think I can get it snug enough for her not to squirm out of it. So, I am making... I'm making a harness that I can make snug enough to 
for her not to be able to get out of. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm using Bamboo Fair um, because it's not stretchy. And I did, I'm going back and forth this way. I chained eight and I'm doing seven single crochets back and forth. And then um, when I get to the middle stitch, so with seven, you have three, then one, then three. I'm doing a chain something. Um, and there will be a bunch of these loops. Let me show you here. That I will have the option to um, clip once I get it around her neck and I'll make another strap for her belly and then connect them. I can custom, I don't know if this is making sense, but I will show it when I finish it. Um, you know, it'll have a little bit of stretch, which is good because I want it to be tight enough that she can't get out of, but of course not so tight that she can't breathe or what have you. <sighs> so scary. I don't know. Anyway. Then, okay, so then we come home and the earthquake happens. And then I get a text from my sister, the buyer's backed out. So we're not in escrow anymore. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what a close call. It would have been such a shame to lose my cat because I thought I was gonna have to move. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah. So that's what's happening. I got my hair cut uh yesterday yeah yesterday um i like it i i did ask him to take the weight out of the top but he forgot so he didn't take any of the weight out of the top but it's okay i wanted i waited until the weather was hopefully gonna cool down it's not like summer temperatures here but it's a little warm um, I left it long through the summer so I could just pull it up all up off my neck. But yeah, so it's a, it still has that slippery stuff in it that the hair people put in your hair. But most likely I'll have a one of these to keep it out of my eyes. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling, but I wanted to share that. Um, keep your eye out for... If this works out to the point where I feel like sharing it and maybe doing a tutorial on it, I'm just gonna have a bunch of these. See how it's open along the, I don't know, we'll see. I gotta leave for work here in a little bit. So I'm gonna get going, but thank you for watching. And yeah, um, the last, few hours have been nerve-wracking <laughs> but I'm staying calm taking it one day at a time sometimes it's one hour at a time and trusting God and remembering all the times that he has provided and um, made everything work out and yeah so thanks for watching have a great rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this and I'll see you next time. All right.